Hey, Guy here. Welcome back to Amore Van. It's time for uh, the third and final part of our video series on uh, cleaning our tanks and replacing our filters following a uh, long road trip. Um, so, uh, uh, the, if you watch the first two parts, you know the gray tank's all set. Um, you know that the diluted bleach water in the, in the fresh tank Yesterday we took the filter out and, and ran some of that water into the lines. And now we're uh, um, having let that set overnight in order to uh, uh, allow the diluted leach water to disinfect the lines. Um, it's now time to proceed. And the first uh, step is to go ahead and dump uh, the water in the fresh tank. So in our Dolphin S model, uh, in order to uh, dump our fresh tanks, <coughs> We need to get to that white valve that you see there. Now, yesterday we were dealing with the uh, gray valve, which you see in the open position still. And, uh, but that white valve is the valve to dump the fresh tank. It's currently in the closed position. So I'm gonna go ahead now and open it. All right, now you can see I have opened that valve, allowing the fresh tank to dump. So now outside the van, you can see um, the water dripping out the bottom of the van, that's because um, there's a tube that leads from that valve that I just opened uh, down through the floor and uh, to the outside. And so that tank will now drain out there. Uh, we'll come back a little bit later and I'm gonna have to show you how I get the last of the water out of the tank. Okay, so having opened the fresh water drain and allowed the uh, gravity to do its thing and the bag to empty, I'm still not quite done draining. Uh, why is that? Well, uh, without getting too much into, you know, gravity and physics and the shape of the plumbing in here, the fact of the matter is with these uh, flexible bladders as opposed to hard-sided tanks um, uh, and, and where the plumbing lines are, we're simply not going to be able to get the tank completely empty just by opening that valve. Instead, we're going to have to vacuum out uh, the uh, the last few gallons of water. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, different people may have different techniques in different places where they try to uh, place the vacuum. Um, but I'm going to show you how I do it. And by the way, this is going to apply whether or not uh, you've chosen to um, sanitize the tanks in the way that I have and you're trying to get uh, everything out of them after you've done that. Or uh, for those of you who choose to winterize your tanks by adding uh, some RV antifreeze to them, either way, you're gonna need to be able to get them completely empty, empty as part of the flushing process. And uh, so that's why I'm showing you what I'm showing you. Okay, I've got myself a small uh, shop vac here, just a five gallon size. Uh, and I'm about to get myself uh, under the van here in front of the driver's side rear wheels. Now, it's a little easier for me to do this because we don't have a driver's side running board. Um, and probably for the newer builds that have the newer embassy running board that sits up higher, you can probably do it this way too. Um, this technique might be a little more difficult for those of you with the older style um, uh, driver's side running board that sits a little bit lower, uh, you may or may not be able to uh, drain the tanks this way. You may have to find another way. <clears throat> All right, here I am uh, just under um, the side, the driver's side of the van. Uh, there you see the rear wheels uh, that are right behind my head. Uh, and right uh, over me, you'll see this pipe. Uh, that's the drain pipe. Uh, that's connected to the freshwater tank. Um, so in the earlier uh, portion of this video, when you saw water coming out of the uh, van and splashing on the ground, that's where it was coming from, out of this pipe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hold the shop vac up to that pipe, and that's going to suck out the remaining water.
Okay, so using that technique, um, I got about another two and a half gallons. My shop back was about half full there, um, out of the bag, and and you know by touching on the bag now, I can I can tell that um, it's empty. Uh, it's as empty as it can be. Um, one thing I couldn't show you because I couldn't use the camera and and uh, do it at the same time is that when holding up that vacuum uh, hose to the tube. Uh, I, I kind of uh, cup my hand around the end of the hose and the tube in order to just increase the uh, the suction and helps get the last little bit of water out. Um, so now uh, it's time to close the valve um, on the freshwater tank and then to uh, fill the tank and you know flush it again, fill it and and drain it. And I'll probably do that twice just to be on the safe side. Um, I'm not going to cover the filling process. Um, uh, in the event that you're um, brand new to all this and you don't know how to fill the tank on an embassy, I do have an earlier uh, video on that. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll put a link to that video in the first comment to this video. So if you don't know how to fill the tanks, uh, you can go ahead and take a look at that. Remember that in part two of this process, we ran a little bit of the uh, bleach treated water through the lines. So as you fill and flush the fresh tank, remember to run some fresh water through those lines to clear them. So, um, that just leaves us needing to talk about um, uh, filter replacement. So let's do that now. All right, the last step in this uh, water maintenance process is to replace all of our filters. Um, so let's talk about the filters that we use. Um, uh, our water passes through three filters by the time we drink it, um, uh, as well as the ozone sanitation system in the van. Now, uh, some people may think that's overkill, but you know, we're drinking this water and we've been drinking it through 32,000 miles without incident. So we're gonna stick with what's working. Um, our, our water is perfectly safe and it uh, tastes fine. So uh, so what do we use? We use uh, first the Clear 2O sediment filter. Uh, this is a 10 micron filter. Micron, by the way, uh, refers to the size of the particles that can pass through the filter. So uh, the Clear 2O sediment filter is designed to um, uh, be the, the first line of defense at, um, when the water comes out of the spigot and it captures sediment, you know, larger material, sand, dirt, whatever will get caught in this filter. Uh, I would have liked to show you a side by side with the old and new filter, uh, but it, uh, but the delivery of the new one is a little bit delayed, but it would be a, a pure white. I may have an old photograph. If I do, I'll splice it into uh, the video at this point so you can see it. Uh, so this one's not in that uh, bad shape. It could probably last longer. Uh, but you know, it's been over nine months since we changed the filters, and uh, I, I just like to, to uh, change them on a regular basis, whether they appear to need it or not, um, because, again, we're drinking this water, and, um, you know, your drinking water is not the place to pinch pennies. So, uh, so that's the first filter that's going to uh, be replaced. Um, when the water comes out of the sediment filter, uh, it goes immediately into an inline filter. These, these screw together like this, right? Um, that's a blooper. <laughs> um, and uh, so then it passes through the sediment filter. Um, we're also replacing that uh, today with a new one. This is the Clear 2.0 uh, 1 micron filter. Um, so the water comes out of the spigot through the sediment filter into the inline filter, so 10 microns, one micron, uh, uh, and one micron, that's that, that's a actually excellent filter and it's gonna get uh, almost all impurities, right? Um, before the water gets into the tank. Um, so even though there's the ozone sanitation system and the filter inside the van, I wanna try to keep the impurities from getting into the fresh water bladder to begin with. So, uh, so that's why we use uh, a very high quality inline filter um, before the water gets in and we're placing that at this time too. And then the final stage is uh, the under sink filter. Um, so uh, you, you watched me in the earlier portion of this series take this filter out of the filter housing. That's a standard uh, five inch filter housing. There are many filters that are made that would fit this this filter would likely fit um, 
uh, all of your filter housings, even if it's not, uh, if you have a standard five inch filter housing like is used on all the embassies, even if you don't currently use this filter, you could switch to it. So this is the Blue Technologies 0.2 micron filter. So we've gone through the 10 micron sediment filter, the one micron inline filter. Uh, we've, we've run our ozone uh, purification and now before the water gets to the faucet, it passes through the Blue Technologies 0.2 micron filter. Um, that is so small, uh, uh, that is uh, the particles that can, that can pass through this have to be so small that this filter will even block uh, um, almost all known bacteria that could be in your water. Um, so this is the final step in the safety. Uh, and uh, you can see this filter doesn't look too bad, right? Um, but you can see the discoloration. Um, and, all, and also after about nine or 10 months of use, um, the used filter is, is uh, considerably heavier than the new filter. I weighed them yesterday and the used filter, even after I let it dry out to make sure I just wasn't weighing water, um, is uh, more than four ounces uh, heavier than the brand new one. So that, you know, that's, that's uh, more than a quarter pound uh, of something that's been trapped in this filter over time. So uh, it's doing its job and keeping whatever, whatever that was out of our drinking water. Uh, and so uh, we've cleaned all the tanks, we've cleaned the lines, we've flushed it all out, and, uh, and we've changed our filters. And so you know, we are ready for, for a new season um, of camping um, with, uh, with some clean and safe drinking water. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing to our channel by clicking on the Amore Van icon that just popped up on your screen. And we'll see you next time. We hope you found this helpful and we'll see you next time here at Amore Van.